and if he doesn't opt to remain in Cincinnati, I don't know. that they either have somebody ready to move in the position or they have the financial wherewithal to uh, spend money that they would have spent on him for somebody else. The biggest question mark for me is if they open the season with Heisey and left and Stubbs and center and Bruce and right, you've got three guys that struck out almost 500 times. They've got to find a way to cut that down. You know, talk is cheap. And they've said, we, we, can, we can get this done. Well, well, let me see. Let me see you get it done. Because I don't think they can, they can afford to go through another year where Drew Stubbs strikes out 205 times and the other guys strike out at the rate in which they struck out. And be as good as they think they can be. Scott Rowland and his ability to stay healthy and stay on the field. Even if it's only for 115 games. Uh, they need him badly in the middle of that batting order to split up Joey Votto hitting third and Jay Bruce batting fifth. And rather than having Votto third and Bruce fourth, that doesn't work. But Roland Chapman's got options. They can send him out. That's not a, that's not a make or break situation. Uh, would they be better off having him in the rotation? Sure, because he's left-handed. And if he doesn't make it, they're not going to have a left-hander in their rotation, which I, I think is, is not the most desirable thing in the world. But at the same time, if your right-handers are good enough, if you get left-hand hitters out, then that's not such a big problem. If this club can live up to what that expectation is, uh, then it's going to be a very, very interesting season.